colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in both men and women and the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. Colorectal cancer is also one of the most preventable. While colonoscopy remains the gold standard for colorectal cancer screening due to its safety and effectiveness, its benefits have not been realized by a significant proportion of the population. Many factors may account for this, including a disruptive and time-consuming process, the potential for pain, and the small risk of adverse events. Thus, there is a clear need for improved and more acceptable methods for colon cancer screening. In this regard, capsule endoscopy is a very attractive alternative to colonoscopy and is now an essential tool for evaluation of patients who suspected small bowel disorders. As technology around small bowel wireless capsule endoscopy advances, a natural progression has been towards its adaptation for examination of the colon. Unfortunately, in its current embodiment, the sensitivity and specificity for detection of colon lesions is not ideal. In conventional colonoscopy, visualization of the mucosa is improved by insufflation of the colon, with a positive correlation between luminal distension achieved by insufflation and polyp and adenoma detection rate. One factor contributing to the suboptimal performance of colon capsule endoscopy is partial or incomplete visualization of the mucosa during the exam. Thus, there is a need for similarly safe, controlled, and reliable insufflation in colon capsule endoscopy. And that's what our team has been working to address. We have developed a novel device to achieve untethered, controlled carbon dioxide insufflation suitable for capsule endoscopy of the colon, the Comfort Cap. The Comfort Cap is a novel two-compartment capsule containing reactants that, when mixed, yield CO2. The basic chemical reaction uses sodium bicarbonate and citric acid to produce sodium citrate, carbon dioxide, and water. It has two separate compartments connected by two magnetic valves. When activated, the citric acid solution in the upper compartment reacts with the sodium bicarbonate in the lower compartment, producing CO2 that's released through the exhaust ports along the lower midline of the capsule. Remote triggering is achieved by means of an external permanent magnet. In this study, we examined the feasibility and safety of this device in vivo. We demonstrated that CO2 production in vivo occurred in a controlled and effective manner. In all five in vivo porcine trials, the comfort caps were successfully triggered and insufflated the porcine colon without evidence of perforation or free air demonstrated by fluoroscopy. The lumen distension achieved was sufficient for complete endoscopic visualization of the mucosa and safe proximal passage of the endoscope under direct visualization. This is the first in vivo demonstration in the literature of a technique that adds an exciting dimension to colon capsule endoscopy, namely the ability to distend and visualize the colon on demand with an untethered approach. Using a highly innovative design, we safely and reliably remotely triggered a chemical reaction within the comfort cap. This released CO2 in a controlled fashion and allowed for clear mucosal visibility with a colonoscope. We envision that such insufflation may allow for better visualization of colonic lesions and increase the diagnostic yield of colon capsule endoscopy. These results have important implications for the future of capsule endoscopy and could potentially be transformative for how we screen our patients for colorectal cancer. Our previous work has shown that wireless insufflation has the potential to enhance visualization during video capsule endoscopy and improve the mobility of magnetically driven capsules. In addition to having the potential to greatly enhance the functionality of capsule endoscopy, the results of our investigations have led us to question whether effervescent-based CO2 generation could enable a new class of disposable CO2 insufflation systems for use during traditional endoscopy.